Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Condemned 2, the second part of a, a series of games that we started. Well, actually, the final part of a series of games that we started. Um, last year, I believe, uh, we played the first one. Condemned is a very strange series. Um, yeah, it involves a lot of serial killers, a lot of investigation, a lot of madness. Uh, strange goings on and cult-like activities it's it's a weird one in the previous game we played as a guy called ethan thomas who uh was investigating serial killers um and as we played through the game we actually involved quite a deep plot of uh serial killers killing serial killers and it got really messy it was actually been quite a long time since i played the first one um was it last year it might even have been the year before to be honest um, sadly, this game only came out on the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation... No, it came out on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, which is a bit of a shame. Because the first game came out on the PC, I believe. In fact, actually it did, because I'm pretty sure we did the PC version. Um, but that's okay. That, that's just one of those things. This game is a lot darker than the second game. It, it still has the... <sighs> infamous combat system um, which we'll explain as the game goes on the combat in this game is actually quite hard um, this game itself is actually quite hard but it's good and it has a really cool story we will notice as we start playing that Ethan has changed quite significantly since the last game um, where in the original he was kind of like a suit and tie standard uh, detective in this he's some fucking beefsteak basically uh looks like he's been going to the gym um well seven to, uh, seven times a week and popping all kinds of steroids and he's just a mess which you can understand uh if you've seen the or played the first game uh but this is a direct continuation um involves a lot of the old characters um and and it's a lot of fun it is a very long game it's also an incredibly dark game, and I don't just mean the atmosphere, I mean the game itself is so freaking dark. There's a lot of bonus objectives and things that we can do as we play, um, and if you get a gold rank on each mission, uh, you unlock a permanent buff. So, uh, and the higher the rank you get, the better the buff is. So we're gonna go. We're gonna try and get all gold. Um, I've only played this game once when it first came out. Uh, which was a bloody long time ago now. Um, and I didn't get all of the buffs. But some of the ones you get are a bit rubbish. And other ones are so overpowered. They really do help you. So, <clears throat> before I waffle on too much longer, let's continue. I do have my fan on. Um, it's on the lowest setting. I hope it's not too audible. But it is... 28 degrees in this room so yeah i did try recording this a minute ago with a fan off and oh no way so let's go actually let's wait for that to roll because it's actually quite interesting all the audio is set up correctly um i really would have liked a third game in the series because it's really enjoyable, but um, I guess I don't really think we're going to get one, to be honest. I would sell for a remake of this, to be honest. They should remake both of them, I think. Um, because they are kind of gems, uh, if you're into your horror and you're in your brawlers. Let's just watch this. That's me, Ethan Thomas. Drunk, tired, pissed off. <laughs> Feel like me. Why? Because this damn city's too fucking blind to see what's going on. Except I'm hungover. I've seen the unspeakable. It's out there. I have a feeling we're about to get better acquainted. Where is former Agent Thomas? He must be warned. He must know that he's not over it. Do you feel it? The fear of being alone. We should have killed you a long time ago. Some 
Well, alrighty then. That doesn't really give us much, but it gives us a, a little bit of a hint uh, at things to come. And actually, watching that back was quite cool because um, uh, the scene where you're holding a baby's, uh, well, like a baby doll, that's actually a really cool level. That's just come back to my, my memory there. Right, let's go. 2008! This game is 10 years old. No way. Fuck. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Right, so... We, this game did actually have multiplayer. Holy shit. I don't actually remember that. The bloodshot fights as well. Shut up, phone. Um, instant action. I think that's just like an arena mode, if I remember correctly. Uh, what extras do we have? Achievements and unlockables. Yeah, so these are the buffs that we can get, I believe. Oh no, that's actually the character art. Which is curious. Like I say, I'm going to try and go for 100% because it really, really is worth it. It's not always easy because some of the uh, things and bonus objectives we have to do, if I remember correctly, are actually quite hard. But they're certainly doable if you know what you're doing. And I will be using a guide for this because it's not always super obvious from what I remember. Right, single player. Oh, I've still got like an old save here. So we've already right. These are the um, uh, the medals that you can get, as you can see here. So I previously got silver on that one and gold on that one. So that's the first level. So the first level you unlock a knuckle duster, and the gold level of it is extremely powerful, um, which is kind of interesting. I guess we can't choose a new game. We've just got to continue that's fine we can always do that uh, we will have all of the previous buffs but we've only got two so it's, it's not that important the second level we unlock uh, body armor but from what I remember I think the body armor only gives you um, a buff against um, projectile weapons I think I might be wrong we've only got the silver level of that which is absolutely unacceptable we will be getting the gold hopefully um, the, the biggest problem <coughs> with replaying levels on this game, if you want to go back and 100% them, is the levels are long. From what I remember, this is an incredibly long game. Uh, and as I said previously, it is the, the combat in this game is extremely hard. There are certain enemies that are brutal and unrelenting and they will kill you in a couple of hits and when you've got like four or five of those coming at you yeah your ass does pucker slightly but uh once you get into the combat it's loads of fun so rock bottom let's go ethan proceeding will overwrite your current saves <sighs> yeah cool uh <clears throat> we can go easy normal hard uh once you complete the game you get fps mode which means you can basically replay the game with all the guns and i think Unlimited ammo. I don't know if I ever tried it. I may have actually tried that. I can't remember, but it's pretty cool. We're not going to go hard, because hard is fucking hard. We're going to go to normal, which is also fucking hard. So let's do this. He found me. I don't have much time. Ethan trusted you. I... Mr. Van Horn. I received a call 1036 this morning. Any idea who this man is? Why he called That voice you? is very familiar. No, sir. <laughs> Check out that face. Where is former agent Thomas? Brilliant. We're not sure. It's been 11 months since his suspension. He was cleared of those charges. Right. Nevertheless, he resigned from the agency shortly after and basically disappeared. Probably passed out in some gutter. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Is it? A man like that doesn't just lie down quietly. Okay. Let's find Mr. Thomas and bring him in. <laughs> Old rock playing in background. Pills and whiskey. Why the fuck not? It's for you. Says his name's Malcolm mm. Van Horn. I'll explain who Van Horn is in a minute. All right, but if he calls <coughs> again, I'm hanging up. It's a fucking answer machine. Well, 
Man, we're a mess. I actually really like Ethan's character design. Prick. <laughs> nice. Very angry, angry young man. Nah, yeah, probably not that young. That's me, Ethan Thomas. Drunk, tired, and pissed off. Why? Because this damn city's too fucking blind to see what's killing them. But I can. I've seen the unspeakable. It's out there. I have a feeling we're about to get better acquainted. So, what I can remember of the first game, <clears throat> Van Horn was like a family friend or something. And as we were um, tracking down the serial killers, somebody was killing the serial killers, and I believe we got framed for it. Uh, but it turned out to be uh, Van Horn's brother, Leyland Van Horn, that was doing it. Ah, oh, cheers, buddy. Hey, now, come on, Ethan. I'm, I apologize. Ah, flashlight. We, we can turn the flashlight on and off. Uh, we will probably never turn the flashlight off. Hey, buddy. What's for dinner? Hey, buddy, I gotta tell you, you smell worse than I do. Because I sleep. Look worse than you do as well, buddy. Right, player response. These are important because to get 100% rank, you need to get all of these in each level. Uh, player response are timed moments for you to express yourself. Be ready because the opportunity can happen at any time. And if you can hear banging in the background, that's my neighbor building a fence. Uh, can't really do anything about that. The window is actually shut. Um, <clears throat> right, so let's dismiss that. Hey, screw you. Whoa, we got ourselves a mean drunk. Guilty. I'm a little bit of a mean drunk. I'm not going to lie. Ethan, of course. Look, man, I'm, I'm not a mean drunk. I get huggy. Okay. That's a good offer. Just a thing to make a Ooh. What are you talking about, my friend? Special moves. In some cases, squeezing through tight spaces requires a special move. Approach the gap near the barrels and follow the bum upstairs. Follow the bum upstairs. Phrasing. Boom. Right. Oh, well, you know. Never drink alone, guys. You know you're, you've got problems if you're doing that. Um, but hey, what do I know? I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm certainly ready for the drink, buddy. Alright, I'm coming. Alright, let's just try and navigate. There we go. Oh, God. It is stiff to control. Um... Yes, something to open it up. How about my size 15s? On, Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, buddy. Indeed. Right. So here we have pills. Pills are the uh, healing item in this game. Oh, dude. Wasn't so secret, was it? My dude. Who the fuck are you talking to? Hey, come say that to my face. Ooh, we got a bad man over here. Right, here we go, combat time. Come on, you sacks of shit, let's do this. So, fist combat. Kind of an ass to get used to, but it's not that bad. <clears throat> so, LT and RT to perform jab attacks. Hint, look for opportunities to strike without leaving yourself vulnerable to enemy counterattacks. Yes, there is kind of like a, um, a counter system in this game. It's not really that good. Uh, it's okay. Um, the combat comes off quite janky. Same as the first game, actually. It is better in this one, and there's a lot more you can do in this one. And it's a lot more brutal as well. But it's not perfect. 
Come on, you fuck. Oh, God, he's eager. Right. Taste my knuckles, sir. Is that what you got? Now, you can see our health is split up into three sections in the top left there. Um, as long as one of those sections doesn't get completely depleted. Come on, you bastard. You'll be shitting your teeth out tomorrow morning. Uh, as long as one of those sections doesn't get completely depleted, um, it will recharge. Ah, here we go. Yeah, block parry. Press and hold both triggers to block. Time your block to an enemy attack to perform a parry. This will cause the enemy to stumble, giving you an opportunity to counterattack. Yeah, uh, we, we, we really need to try and get this down. Uh, the timing for this is kind of janky. And it's kind of... There we go. It. Oh, God. Right, there we go. Ah, no one's kicking the shit out of me, boy. Come on, you turd. There we go. Got it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's see that blood fly. Hey, my friend's having a great time. One-two combo. Perform two alternating jabs and then attack when the screen displays a combo attack timer. I think I remember. Um, combo will fail if damage is taken at any... Yes, yeah. Okay. Alright. Come on, you motherfucker. Let's go. One. Two. There we go. Oh, shit. The guys, these guys are kind of unpredictable. There we go. Did three times the damage. Ooh. Parry counter. Parry an oncoming attack and then do a quick jab. Ending with a combo attack. Ooh. Okay. That sounds complicated, but we can do it. So. That was too early. There we go. One. There we are. Oh, God. Hello. I was hoping that was going to finish him. Come on, you fuck. There we are. Nice try, buddy. Yes. When it goes right, it's quite satisfying. Um, the frame rate also gets a little bit janky at times, which is why I really wish it had a PC release. But, uh, you know, what can we do? Melee combat works exactly the same as fist combat. Arm yourself with a 2v4 from the garbage can and defeat the remaining enemies. Hint. Melee weapons will break after extended use. Yes, they are more durable than they were in the first game. We get a little table there telling us uh, how much damage and whatnot they do. Right, 2 before 4 of nails. Come on, big man, let's go. You and me, my friend. Oh, nice try. Unfortunately for you, ah, you ain't going to be walking away from this. There we go. Oh, God. Come on. Yep, yep. Yep, we're doing it, we're doing it. There you go, pal. What do you think of that? When an enemy is stunned... Oh, God, he's still going. There we go. I'll have my 2x4 back. Hey, pal. Ooh, you smarmy bastard. Enemies will pick up weapons as well. The AI is kind of smart when it wants to be. Uh, so, bear that in mind. Oh, shit. There we go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's try and get the attack timing down. Oh, nice. There we go. How's that feel, fucker? Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Always, my friend. Always. Ooh. Not really the kind of fun that I wanted, to be honest. A brick to the face. Come on, Ethan. Let's go, buddy. It's a mean night. Let's walk it off. Where'd our bum friend go? That sounds bad, doesn't it? Phrasing. Bum friend. Everybody needs a bum friend. Ooh, what have we got here? What weapons? We have a pipe. Does more damage, but it's slower. Same amount of reach and is in better condition. So, cool. We should take this. Yeah, we can throw items as well. Whoa, okay. Time to lay off the pills, Ethan. Lay off them, buddy. Right, so yeah. So, if we hold the uh, <coughs> right bumper... We can throw it. It's very useful for knocking enemies off off balance and whatnot. Now, this is also one of the collectibles. News reports, TV and radios with antenna offer important information. To find reception, grab the antenna and slowly adjust it using R. I can do that. These are quite interesting. All the collectibles have purpose. Yeah, it's an easy thing to forget. Mm-hmm. That does make sense. Ooh, hello. What are you? 
<laughs> nice. Shit. Well, that usually signifies the end of the night when your lady bros or drinking buddies are doing that to you. Let's continue. Now, actually, if we push start or something... Ah, right, so it's back. It actually tells us a score there. So it always tells us what we've got to find on each level. I mean, it's cool, but because the levels are so vast, it's it doesn't tell you if you've already gone past one, if that makes sense. Hmm. TV repair shop. Ooh! We got hostiles! Oh, better condition. I'll have you. Anybody home? I want to work out my pipe. I need a fresh face. Ooh, hell. Hello. Wow, that is a seriously old, uh, seriously old design. I've seen, uh, I've seen and worked on boards from the 70s that look uh, better than that. <coughs> right, let's go. You having a bit of fun down there, mate? Let's have some more fun together. It's always better to have fun together. Hey, pal. Fuck you, buddy. Time for some knuckles. Aw, oh, did you fall down? Fuck you, buddy. Punch you in the ass. Give me my... No, I want my pipe. Ooh. Sonic emitters. This is another um, optional uh, target that we get. Sonic emitters. These mysterious devices are scattered throughout the city. Their purpose is unknown, but they've been linked to the steady increase in criminal violence. Destroy them when found. Yeah. They actually do hurt us if we get close to them as well. So... Though they're not too bad. There. Boom, baby. These are driving people insane. Ooh, a crowbar. Crowbar does less damage. Well, we'll take it. I would have thought a crowbar's got more reach, but hey, what do I know? Let's go open some arteries with this thing. That's what you do with crowbars, right? Open things. Ooh, pills. Do we need the pills? We do not need the pills. In that case, we will not worry about the pills. Yeah, the frame rate is so bizarre in this game. I think at times it starts running at 60. Like here, it's very fast, very fluid. But most of the time, you're running at mid-20s. So, ooh. Hey, pal. I'm trying. Dude, I don't need a TV. It's very kind of you to offer. Fuck's sake. Honestly. You'll pay for that. Well, it's not my place, I suppose. Hey, buddy, come back. I want to play with you. Oh, you didn't see that coming, did you? What's the matter? Pathetic. The combat's actually much, much, much better than I remember. Uh, but I could be getting confused with the first game. Oh, look at these reels of wire. Mm-hmm. Could grot someone. Damn, son. All right, let's go. Oh, we're almost on half an hour already. Yeah, this is going to be a weird game to record, because can we save it wherever? No. Hmm. Okay, that's going to be a bastard. Let's have a look at our upgrades. Oh, it doesn't actually tell us. Oh, maybe we don't have the upgrades then. Maybe you have to complete the game before you can um, restart with all your upgrades. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. All right, let's see what's on the uh, idiot box. You know better than most that there's scum in this city. Vile and hateful, fucking insane scum. There's no talking. There's no reasoning. Just killing. Kill first, or be a rotting corpse for the birds. Well, I'd rather not be a rotting corpse for the birds, if that's all the same to you. Oh! Oh, you're right there, buddy. Come back. I want to grab your spine and do bad things with it. Chain attacks. Ah, this is actually important. Chain attacks are extremely damaging attack sequences. To initiate, double tap the L and R. Oh, L or R. When an enemy and... Oh, when near an enemy, and then respond to HUD prompts as they appear on the screen. Hint, before a chain attack can be initiated, the chain attack meter must be full. Yeah, um... <clears throat> you actually have to use these because what's my cat doing? She's alright. Um, because the more you use them, the more they level up. Uh, and I think the more you use them, uh, the, the the bigger the meter gets. So at the moment, uh, we only have one. 
so we can only use it once and then it has to recharge but then you get two three four and five i think all right there buddy come here come here there we go oh we missed it it's kind of janky at times to get but once you get it, get it down it's okay generally it will knock a basic enemy out in one but not always. Environmental kills. When an AI is in a defeated state on his knees, approach and push both triggers together to put him in a headlock. Walk him to the nearest kill opportunity, white skull icon. Yeah, these are pretty badass. In the first game, you had a similar thing where a guy would go down on his knees and you could then walk up to him and push one of the uh, directional buttons and there was four different executions. But with this, you actually take them to environmental points. Uh, I, I kind of prefer th the way the first game did it, to be honest. Cop out. That's very nice. Whoa, how did you hit me from over there? Come on, buddy. Oh, I'd like to see you try, my friend. Come on, let's go. Ooh, nice. And again. Down you go, my friend. How do you like TV? There you go. All you can watch. Nice. Oh, crowbar. Oh, hello. Mate, you've got black on you. I don't know what you've been doing. You can see sometimes that the punches just don't connect properly. Come on. There we go. Nice. I believe that combo system actually gets more advanced as the game goes on as well. Um, yeah, you can see that the hit detection with your punches and with their punches or their attacks really doesn't work very well um, it's not unplayable by any stretch of the imagination but it, it certainly could be better um, but that's just like one of the minor flaws in this game this game is by no means perfect but it's good it's enjoyable the story is fucking weird as you'd expect hey wait there we go Continue chasing Van Horn. I can do that. Mm hmm. This does not look as safe as I would like. Oh, fuck. Where'd you come from? Get off me, mutt. Oh. You know, I never like killing animals, even in games, but uh, when it's self defense, that's okay. It's acceptable. Ah, oh, we can't use the pills. Um, oh yeah, if I remember. How do we do this? We have to destroy... We have to knock the bows over or something. I remember. Kind of. Ah, there we go. Open gates. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Danger close. There we go. Big bada boom. Open says me. You're on half an hour already. So next checkpoint, we will uh, end the end it. Yeah, Blackhawk. Residents, find safety indoors immediately. Do not remain on the street. I repeat, return to your homes and lock. Don't tell home. me what to do, bro. I don't even know if we have a house, to be honest. Can we run? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we can kick as well by clicking in the uh, uh, right stick. Ethan's become a little bit of a champion. But there is a... Ah, okay. So it's the left... Oh, these guys. Right. Those guys that you saw there. They are extremely tough. They only take like one hit to kill. But they do incredible amounts of damage. And quite often, they will come at us in groups of three plus. Oh, shit. The hell happened to you? Nothing good, that's for sure. Right, we don't want to go down here just yet, I don't think. Ah, there's a TV here. Let's check the TV. Ah, look at that Sonic emitter as well. Yeah. That'll do. Where did my crowbar go? Crowbar, come to me. Return. Okay, I think we've lost it. Oh, man, I lost my crowbar. Actually, I think there's a pile of bricks around this somewhere. Yeah, these are uh, brick piles here. Uh, they're always unlimited. And bricks are really good thrown weapons, as you would imagine. Alright, let's grab a brick. And see what's on the telly.
Noted, mysterious helper. Noted indeed. Okay, so how are we doing with the collectibles? Not bad, actually. You've only got one emitter left. Do I remember where the em emitter is? It gets easier to find these later on because we have uh, tools that we can use to uh, locate them. Not the TVs, obviously, um, but the sonic emitters. Right. All good here. There are lots of little places that you can go into as well. Um, I mean, the levels are very linear, but they kind of feel quite open. But sadly, there's not always a lot of stuff around. Although, if you're if you're careful, oh, all right, chief. Safe trip home, buddy. Okay. Um, yeah, the levels feel quite big and open. Uh, well, they're certainly big, but they're actually very linear. Alright, uh, we got goop. Ooh. Ben Horn, okay. I talk yeah, I, I have a feeling, Ethan, that something's not quite right with uh, Van Horn. I mean, I can't put my finger on it, but... Oh, dear. No smoking! Fuck you and your no smoking. I'll do what I want. Right. Ah, shit. This is where we first fight the goop monsters. Ooh. See, I'm not sure if this is in our head or if this is actually happening. Ah, bollocks. Right, we've actually just hit a save point there, guys. So, I am going to end this. Um, because I'm not really sure how much is left of this level. But, uh, anyway. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you're going to enjoy this game with me. It's a lot of fun. Um, it gets hard. It gets frustrating at times. But the story is worth it. The story is very chaotic. Um... It's one of those games that you really have to do your research on, uh, at least for me, because I'm thick. So you have to study it and, and analyze everything. There's so much symbolism in this game. It's kind of like Silent Hill in a way. Psychological. Hmm. Anyway, guys, till next time.